staying with the same story, we have a big breaking news coming in. Now, BJP has posted Shah Jahan Sheikh's video where he's actually claiming that CBI and ED would not be able to even touch his hair. He also asked everyone to pray so that he does not get angry or else he will break teeth of BJP workers and leaders as well and will execute them after 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, CNN News 18 cannot independently verify this video. It has been posted by BJP social media handlers, which claims that this video is from 1st January 2024. Take a look at one of the excerpts of this particular video that we are actually talking about. Ashuru, Toto Punji, Amada Punji, Olo Manushi Rashirba, Ar Or Punji Olo Ki, CBI Ready, CBI Ready Bade, Sadare, Bal Ko Dure Ko Dakta, Chul Chhe Dega, Biji Bhi Dalale Kal Gule Dure Ne, Shudu Amra Manobata Dekhaye, Kya Apne Sondesh Kalir Manush Challenge Kore Bolchi, Apne Sab Swai Shanti Chaye, Ki Bhave Mata Jo Kore Bajre. So that was the video which was posted by BJP. It was of Shah Jahan Sheikh, the man in question at the moment over the turmoil that broke out yesterday. Uh, in West Bengal uh, with uh, the crosshairs between the ED and the goons. The BJP posted this Shah Jahan Sheikh's video where he's actually claiming that CB and ED, CBI and ED in fact would not be able to even touch his hair. We have CNN News 18 senior editor Pallavi Ghosh joining us on the broadcast to bring us more details on that. Pallavi, what more details do we have about this particular video that we just showed to our viewers? So first of all, of course, the rider is, as a video has been put out by the BJP, Amit Malviya, who is a co-in charge of West Bengal, has put out this video. And the allegation is that Shah Jahan, whose supporters had attacked the ED team who had come in for their raids yesterday, has, is, an, uh, is an offender. Like on 1st January 2024, uh, there is a uh, the video which has been put out by the BJP shows Sheikh Shah Jahan threatening the, BJ, uh, the CBI as well as the ED, saying that they will not even be able to touch him at all. And in fact, he's also urging his water workers and the supporters to take action against the ED team, therefore they come up. Now what the BJP has found is a huge issue. They have always attacked the Mohammed Banerjee government of being very low in maintaining law and order and governance. Now, in the last Lok Sabha elections of 2019, the BJP had done surprisingly very well. The BJP hopes to repeat that performance this time around, in fact, better it. And they're hoping that by raising this issue of failing law and order, the kind of attacks we saw yesterday on the ED team and the media team, they will show that Mamta Banerjee is someone who cannot be trusted to ensure governance in the state. And therefore, no one from her party should be voted as an MP uh, uh, in the Lok Sabha elections. Right, Pallavi, and if you were to talk about the political turmoil that has now broken after this particular issue of uh, ED being in crosshair with um, uh, uh, this man in question that uh, that is there in the video, what more developments do we have about that? I mean, so the BJP, of course, has made it a huge issue, and I, uh, one can understand why. So not just at the state level, but even at the national level. For example, yesterday, Gaurav Bhatia doing a press conference, making the point that what you're trying to do is to obstruct a team which was doing its duty. There have been many allegations against against Sheikh Shah Jahan, who is a TMC leader where the ED team had gone. And you know, you cannot obstruct a team from doing their work. You cannot blame the work, uh, the team which had come there. But more than that, we saw pictures of how even the News 18 Bangla team, media team was attacked, cameras broken. These are a building up of cases because if you go by law, uh, anyone who obstructs the duty of an officer from doing their official duty, that can be seen as a huge offence. In this case, the acts of violence, the attack on them, and also now allegations coming in from the BJP that their leaders at the ground level are also being targeted to use the words of the BJP by the TMC goons. Uh, the TMC, of course, has categorically rejected. They've said ED has always been misused to attack the political opponents of the BJP. And in this case, this is something which has been a setup coming in from the BJP ahead of the Lok Sabha elections.